Welcome to the National Gun Trust's ATF eForm1 existing user account first login video walkthrough guide. Thank you for joining us today. In order to apply for a tax stamp using the ATF's new eForm website, you will need to update your account on the ATF's new eForm website. We will discuss this process. You will need to navigate to the ATF's eForm website by going to the URL https colon slash slash eforms.atf.gov, or depending on your browser, you can navigate to simply eforms.atf.gov. The page is divided in half. You will first need to click the Forgot Password button located on the right side of the screen under the white login text. You will then need to enter your username and click Next. If you can't remember your username, you can click back and select the Forgot User ID link that is located to the right of the Forgot Password link. Enter your email information, and the ATF will email you your username. If you do know your username, you can continue and click Next. You'll be prompted to enter in your email address that is associated with your account. The ATF will proceed to email you your new password. Once you have your new temporary password, you can click the login link from your password reset email or navigate back to the URL https colon slash slash eforms.atf.gov and click login. You will then be prompted to enter in your username and temporary password and click sign in. You will then be prompted to enter in your username, temporary password, new password, confirm your new password, and click Submit. You will be redirected back to a login screen to sign into your account with your new password. This may or may not open the rules of behavior for the ATF's eForm system. If you do see this window, you will need to accept the rules. You can then click the radio button next to each rule and finally click the Accept button to continue. Otherwise, you can continue to update your user profile. The User Profile Update screen looks like the new user registration page that you completed when you originally created an account on the ATF's eForm system. With the new eForms update, you will need to re-verify your email address and confirm your email address, your first name, middle name if applicable, last name, cadence if applicable, title, county, phone number, address, security question and answer, a new four-digit PIN, confirm your four-digit PIN, and lastly, click Save My Information. Your profile has now been updated in the new ATF's eForms website. You can continue to use the ATF's eForms site to apply for a tax stamp. Links to our ATF eForms video walkthrough guides are in the video descriptions below. This completes the ATF eForm 1 existing user account first login video walkthrough guide. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any further questions, you can email us your question using the link in the video description, reach out to us on Reddit using our account u slash National Gun Trusts, or by simply leaving a comment below.